Hey, what's going on guys? 1-4 here, and I don't normally do these, but uh, I figured, you know, what the hell. Um, I ordered something for my new kit, and I want, this. it's kind of a crapshoot, and I wanted to have my reaction recorded and immortalized on the internet, because, let's be honest, I'm a narcissist. So, I ordered the, uh, you know, the latest and greatest thing right now in the world of helmets um, is the Maritime Ballistics, right? True Milsim uploaded a video, you know, highlighting the differences and the pros and the cons of the Dragon Red Maritime, uh, both the basic and the premium version. I went ahead and ordered the FMA. I know. I know. I've owned a Dragon Red Ballistic before, but it's not really correct for the uh, inspired look that I'm going for right now. Uh, so... And it was only 60 bucks, so I just went ahead and pulled the trigger. So here we go. Um, it came from China. Uh, it took about two weeks to get here. It sat in China for like most of that time, which is pretty standard. And then, uh, you know, it was in New York for a few days. And now it's here. And as you can see, you know, bubble wrap. Pretty heavy duty bubble wrap. Sheesh. Oh, and it's the disappointing kind that doesn't snap. Um, sorry. Okay, so as you can see, it has no Velcro. But, well, it does, but it's inside of the shell. This is actually a lot better than I expected. Um, the shell is high cut, obviously, because it is supposed to be a maritime. Um, the shell does not appear to be spot on urban tan, but it is definitely better than the dragon red, which is basically spray tan all over. The replica vast shroud is plastic, but that's okay because it's getting replaced. Um, padding on the octile feels decent. And the nylon here feels okay. And this is plastic. I was hoping for it to be rubber, but it is in fact plastic. Um, the quality reminds me a lot of my Emerson that I used to have back in the day. My Emerson Carbon. Uh, but yeah, this looks to be pretty solid. The shell is fairly thick. I mean, some of the fast helmet replicas I've seen are laughably thin, but this, oh, look at that leather. Very nice. Well, I am going to uh, set it up, and within a couple days, I'll have a new helmet setup video for you guys, so stay tuned. So there you go, the FMA, uh, the FMA Fast Maritime Ballistic, better than expected, so hopefully it fits. See you later.